Hi everybody, I'm Janine. I work for the Rex and Park Department over at Pascat Community Center. This is my friend Jack. Hi everybody. Um, we are going to make a piñata today from scratch. What you're going to need, I don't know if you guys could see it, you're going to need a balloon, newspaper, flour, the flour that you make with, not the flowers outside, okay, the flour that you make bread with and cake, water, Paint, a paintbrush, and some glue, okay? And your imagination. Lots of imagination, okay, guys? Ah, oh, thanks, okay? Remember, ask mom and dad always if you could use the flower and if you could do all this stuff, okay? So you can get gloves on. You don't need to get gloves on. Totally how you want to do it. First, we're going to do our piñata. You're going to have to take your balloon. You can make it as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want. Let's see how big I can make this house. <laughs> yeah, I know. There we go. We're not going to make this one this big. We're just going to make a small one. You can make a big one. Okay, so you have your balloon. Okay. Oh, my balloon. Okay, now you have to make your paste. Okay, so you get gloves on. You don't have to get gloves on. Totally how you want to do it. The flour and the water actually feels kind of icky, but I like it. But I don't want to get my hands dirty right now. Okay, so you take a little bit of water. You put my bowl's empty. Okay, once I put the stuff in, I can't turn it upside down. <laughs> You're going to put a little bit of water. Yeah, there's only a little bit left in that cup. Okay, you're going to take your flour. All right. Remember, ask mom or dad if you can use the flour. Don't just grab the flour, okay? You're not putting it in a mixer. You're doing everything by hand, okay? You could use a spoon. You could use your hand, however you want to do it, okay? Can you give me some more flour, please? Yeah. All right, you are going to try to make this. Okay, my spoon's not working for me, so I'm going to move my spoon to the side. Just dump it. Just dump it. That's perfect. Okay. You're going to mix as much as you can because you want it to feel like slime. That, would you think that's a perfect description, slime, for yeah. it? Definitely slime. Oatmeal-y. oatmeal, -y. oatmeal -y. That's a good one, too. See how it's like sticking to my glove and it's like goopy? Yeah, the other cup of water. <laughs> put a little too much flour. If you put a little too much flour, just add a little bit more water. Not too much. You want to go slowly, okay? All right, and you keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. Okay, and when someone's mixing, someone cut up your pieces of strips of newspaper, okay? So I got a bunch over here already cut up. Okay, see how they're all in strips? I can't open it. My hand's stuck. I got a stuck hand, guys. Just make sure your parents rip the newspaper before you cut it up. Yeah, that's a definite. Do not rip the today's newspaper. Make sure mom and dad had already read it. Especially the comics. Those are the best parts. Or the circular with the coupons on it. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Okay, so once you have your mix, I'm going to show you as best as I can. I don't know if you could see it. It's like... Soupy. Soupy? Goopy? It's like a little less than slime. It like drips off my fingers. Okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your newspaper. Okay? You're going to just dip it in. Nah. I'm going to take them off in a sec. All right? You're going to dip in one side. And you're going to squeeze off... The excess. The, thank you. The excess. <laughs> Okay, so now your newspaper is all covered with your flour mix. And you're just going to put it on. Okay, and you're going to make sure it's nice and flat. Sorry, didn't mean to get you on your hand. All right, you're going to take your next one. Now what's really cool is you could just pick it up without even holding it. See how it just sticks to the, <laughs> sticks to the flour mix. Okay, and whoever's ever helping you is just going to keep keeping it down and you're just going to put it in the, the paper up and again. I'm going to keep doing this for a few more. Okay, and you're just going to keep covering it. you got to make sure you cover your balloon all the way. Okay, you don't want to see... Overlap. Yep, so overlap them. So 
put one piece over the other piece. That's what overlap means, okay? It's gonna take a few days to dry, guys. This is like a few day project, okay? The one that I made before, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, took, <coughs> took about four days to dry. But once it's dry, the best part is you get to decorate it. And that's what we're gonna do after we're done with this. We're gonna decorate it and then you gotta let that dry a little bit, okay? And then you could put candy in or you could put toys in and you could have your little own little birthday party. And if your birthday's coming up soon and unfortunately you can't have a birthday party right now, you could have a Facebook Live birthday party. That's what my friends are doing and their friends get to see them on Facebook Live and sing happy birthday and you guys could, they, your friends could enjoy having a birthday party with you on Facebook Live. Or you could do FaceTime with some of your friends on your birthday and they could be there with you. They can't be physically there with you like in your house or anything like that because we all have to practice social distancing. But they could be there with you. Your friends are always there with you just like your family. Okay, you're gonna keep going all the way around. Okay, we'll do like two more strips so you guys could see what it's going to look like. Remember, don't forget to take off the excess of the, the mixture, okay? The goop. We'll call it goop. Lots of goop. So is everybody going outside and looking at all the flowers budding outside? That's like our favorite part to do. My son loves going for walks right now. So does my dog. Is everybody taking their dogs out for walks with them when they go for a walk outside? Or in the backyard? Okay, so can you, because my hands are kind of goopy, <laughs> can you just show them what it's going to look like? So as you keep going, yeah, it's going to keep rolling, so you need somebody to help, okay? So it's going to get heavy on one side. It's going to get heavy on one side, okay? We'll just do the other side real super quick. Okay. Oh, I tripped everywhere. This is why this is a very messy project, but it's a fun project to do. This might want to be a garage project. Yeah, garage. Definitely garage or kitchen with an empty sink project. My mom would kill me if I made this mess in the garage or in the kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I did mine in the kitchen sink. But then again, I also cleaned my kitchen sink, so. But yeah, we did it ours in the kitchen sink. There was nothing in the kitchen sink, guys. So there was no forks, no knives, no spoons, no cereal bowls. Because I know mom and dad are probably doing lots and lots of dishes. Okay, so you're going to keep going all the way around. Remember, just grab your newspaper, overlap them, which just means go over. Ugh. My hands are stuck together, my fingers. Okay. Yeah. All right, so my friend, yeah. I, oh wait, hold on, let me take off my gloves, guys. Ooh, see how goopy it is? Let's just dump it in the bowl. Put this in the bowl. All right, remember, when you do your art, just, or science or whatever, okay? Make sure you got it and you roll it all the way around. You might have to lean it against something. There you go, perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Try to see how much I could clean up, or we'll just put the newspaper on it. There we go. That's simple, right? We'll just put some newspaper on the spots that we spilled so we could keep going. There we go. Oh, look, I missed a spot. There we go, newspaper. And the finished product, once it's all dry, okay, is going to look like this, okay? You see how it's hard? Okay, don't bang it too hard or else it will break. Okay, so here's my balloon right here. All right, what you're gonna do is, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna paint it first, okay? And we're gonna let it dry, which shouldn't take that long, okay? Because I just painted this a little while ago and it's pretty much dry, okay? And then we'll pop the balloon, okay? So, you got it? Okay, so we're gonna, you can do whatever you want. Imagination's the limit, but I wanna see everybody's projects, okay? So what you have to do is ask mom or dad if they could um, post it on Facebook. Oh, sorry. If they could post it on Facebook so we could all see, 
because Jack wants to see, I want to see, everybody wants to see all your finished pinatas, okay? And it's super fun to do. Okay, has anybody had an unbirthday yet? Did you guys bake a cake and do an unbirthday party from Alice in Wonderland? That, my kids love Alice in Wonderland. I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen it already. So, you just keep going. Okay, so one side we are going to make a flower scene, okay? So what color should we make our first flower? Mr. Jack, what color do you think we should make our first flower? Uh, do a pink. Do a pink flower? Yeah. I like pink flowers. So we gotta make our stem, right? We gotta get some green out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We forgot to make the grass. We always need grass, right? Because flowers grow on grass. So I'm going to put a little bit of white. That's a lot of white. Didn't mean to do that much white. Always make sure mom and dad help you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to mix a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to mix a little bit up. Oh, thank you. I'm going to move it over here and mix it all up. And I'm just going to put a little bit of green on the bottom. Remember, use whatever, you can do whatever you want. This side I'm going to do the whole scene of grass and flowers and the sun because I cannot wait for spring to come. Not because of the allergies that everybody is suffering from right now, but because it's pretty and I get to hear the birds and I get to see all the pretty flowers coming out and we get to watch, we get to plant in our gardens. Does everybody know what they're planting in their garden yet? Any fruits and vegetables? Are you planting any fruits and vegetables? Nothing planned yet. Nothing planned yet? Maybe I'll do tomatoes this year. What do you like to plant? Jack, do you like to plant anything? Or does your wife like to plant? Or you? She likes to plant, but I usually end up finishing it. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to draw my stem. Okay, so I'm going to take my spool or paintbrush. And I'm going to draw my stem. I'm going to make my little leaf. That looks like a cactus right now, but we're not doing cactuses. Not today. When you're done, it'll look good. It'll look like a flower. Okay. Do the best you can. You do what you want to do. What are we making? An orange flower? Whatever. We'll make an orange flower. Sounds good. Sounds good. Nice and bright and sunny. Even though today's mm -hmm. kind of cruddy out with the clouds. But hey, it's not raining. And it's not snowing even though I know you guys would like snow, but. My big brush, okay. Use whatever brush you have. If you don't have brushes, you could use Q-tips. You could use your fingers. You could use anything you have, okay. So, you could draw whatever type of flower you want. So I'm gonna draw. And there's my flower. Uh, kind of a flower. Okay, and then I'm going to put, I want to put a little bit of green in my flower. Just in the middle. There we go. So you could do it that way, or you could cut out your flower. Okay, you can make your, you could trace one over here on a piece of paper and you could cut it out. Okay, so when you could do that, you can cut it out. So here's mine. Okay, I cut it out. You could take a little bit of glue. Okay, you could glue it on the back. Okay, mine. Oh, well, this one has gluey stuff on it. There we go. And you could put glue. And we're going to do the glue. Okay. So don't forget, I want to see everybody's art projects. Shout out to us. Tell us how you guys are doing. We want to hear from everybody. Like us on Facebook. Talk to us. Okay? Now, of course, we have flowers. What else do we need with, with the whole thing? I think we're missing a sun. I like suns. And the brighter the sun, the better, because that just means summer's coming soon. And I like the summer. Big summer fan. So we are going to build, where should we put our sun, Jack? What do you think, right in the middle? 
We're on top? Top works. Top works. We're going to draw, a sun is the shape of a circle. So we're going to draw our circle the best we can. Remember, if you don't have a paintbrush, you could use your fingers, you could use Q-tips. Okay, but always ask mom and dad before you do it. Okay, we're going to put a little, little bit of rays. And this is my son. Okay, so that's one side. Okay, so you could do it that way, or you could do two. You could make your whole entire pinata that way. But I want to make two different types. Okay, so I'm going to make a Hawaiian girl on the other side. Okay, so I need to get another plate so I could put some more paint. We're thinking about a... We're going to make our girl pink. Why not? Why not? I like pink. Anybody could wear pink. This is hot pink too. I used to have a color room this color. Okay? You can do anything you want. You can make a superhero. You can make Spider-Man. You can make Batman. You can make, who else? You can make Paw Patrol. That'd be kind of cool. Or Dora, Scooby-Doo. Oh, E.T. You had the idea of E.T. That was a good idea. E.T. Some of the kids might not know who E.T. is, though. Some of the older. Oh, oh well, Bob and Dad, we'll, yeah, we'll tell them. E.T. <laughs> They'll help you make E.T. He was an alien that came down and stood with Elliot. Yep. Okay. Um, what else can you make? You could do... Did I get all the way to the side? <laughs> no. What else can we do? We could do superheroes. You do you you could interpretations of your mom and dad. Yeah, self-portrait. Yeah. That's a cool one. Total self-portrait. So how many people you have in your family, that's how many you can do. Yeah. And then... Easter's coming up, you could make big Oh, Easter eggs. they're going to kill me. I dribbled. They got a temper. Okay, remember, if you need to, wear a smock, because if you're like, you like Miss Janine, you dribble on the floor, and yeah, we don't want to do that. We have to clean that up later. Okay? Or I get it on my... I'm dribbling again. I'm always dribbling. <laughs> But that's okay, because art is messy. Sorry, Jack. Okay. All right. So, we painted our girl. Now, in Hawaii, they wear a grass skirt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. Okay? You got to remember, ask mom and dad for help with the scissors, okay? And always be safe. You're going to take your tissue paper. You're going to cut a piece of... You're going to cut a piece out. Okay, I'm just going to drop this on the floor so we don't step on it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, guys. Just didn't want anybody to step on that. Okay, and you're just going to cut. Not all the way, okay? Because you're going to make your grass skirt. Okay. So, now I have two pieces of grass skirt, so I'm going to use both, because I want to be adventurous. Okay, I'm going to take my glue, which I don't think I might need. Do you think I need it? I might have. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take my glue, I'm going to put a little bit. My glue's stuck. Okay, if your glue is stuck like mine, just open it up. <laughs> Just open it up, put a little bit on a plate. All right. Don't forget to close it back up really tight so your glue doesn't dry out, okay? Close it up. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to rinse it off a little bit. Oh, I lost it. Never mind. Next brush. <laughs> I'm going to rinse it off. Okay. Dry it up, because I don't want the paint and the glue, and that will just look really weird. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue, which is dripping a lot, and I'm just going to put a little bit on, just so it sticks. 
You don't need that much, just a little bit. If you have a glue stick, a glue stick works. Whatever you have at home, okay? And I'm just gonna put my other grass skirt on, just like that. Okay, so now I have two grass skirts. Since this is wet, I don't have to put glue on, but I can just throw my glass skirt on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I got my grass skirt. So what do you think we're missing with our girl? We are missing eyes. So we have to make our eyes. Of course, I don't have a paintbrush yet. <laughs> I'm going to rinse out my, paint, my glue brush that I used. Okay, rinse it out with water. I'm going to dry it off a little bit. Okay, dry it off a little bit. That was glue again. Wrong one. I did it. Hey, what I say, art is messy and it happens, right? We just rinse it out again. No big deal. We don't want that color because that was glue. <laughs> we want white, which is over on this side. But it happens, right? I'm going to draw two eyes. One. There's one eye because I want her to have big, beautiful eyes. Okay, and there's my other eye. Okay. What color do you think we should make the inside part of her eye? What color do you think we should do, guys? Blue, green, yellow. How about... Let's... Which color? Blue? Blue it is. Yeah. We can match. Because then we need a face. Pink on both sides. We got pink on both sides. Okay, so we're going to take blue. We're going to take a little bit of our blue and go right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. And our girl needs eyebrows. We're going to do blue eyebrows. <laughs> Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Okay, you can do whatever you want. And we need a nose. And we definitely need lips. We need a nose. What color nose should we do? Let's do an orange nose. Because we could do whatever color we want. We could use our imagination. We do our nose. I think I'll do a little bubble nose. Little nose. Yeah? Looks good. Yeah. Now she needs a mouth, so this way she could do our hula dance. She could tell us what she's dancing about, like Lilo and Stitch, or Moana, or what's another Hawaiian? You got Lilo and Stitch, you got Moana, I think that's it. I can't think of another one. Oh, Lava. That's a short. It's one of the, what, what color are we doing? Blue Phillips? Blue Phillips. Let's do blue. Let's do light blue Phillips. Let's do a smile. Because we're all happy. We're with our families. We're all safe. Okay. And there's our Hawaiian girl. Okay. With our grass girl. Okay. Now. Where's my scissors? You got it? Okay. When this is all done, what you have to do is you have to pop the balloon. Okay. So be very careful. Let this dry first before you pop the balloon. Okay, so this way you're not touching your art project or anything, okay? So you're there. You got it? Mm -hmm. I got the top. You got the bottom? Got it. Just oh. Cut the knot off. I'm trying. Okay. There you go. Okay, you don't cut it all the way. You got to let it come out slowly, okay? Because you... sound like an egg hatching. Oh, yeah, it does. This actually sounds pretty cool. Or like Jiffy Pop for the... Old people like me. <laughs> They're Jiffy Pop. You like Jiffy Pop? I have a. Remember Jiffy Pop? Pop? Yeah, that's really fun that was actually. Good stuff to do at home with the family. Oh, sorry. Okay, so once it's all out, all the air's out. Guess what? There's my balloon. Okay, and there is my pinata. Okay, remember you got to let it dry. All right. What you have to do is have mom or dad. Okay, you're gonna poke two holes, not all the way up here, but further down, okay? So you could put your string across, all right? And then what you gotta do is, let me grab the candy, sorry. All right, we've got some candy. And like I said, you could have an unbirthday party. Or if it's your birthday, you could do that too. You could put some toys in. I've got a kazoo. I've got, what are these things called? 
Chinese handcuffs? The Chi oh, yeah, they kind of are. They, they kind of are, okay? <laughs> some kazoos, some Chinese handcuffs, okay? You could put, oh. Harmonicas. Harmonicas, thank you. Harmonicas. All right, we could put some. Dum dums? Some lollipops in. I actually like these. I like the ones that are question marks. Okay, you can put whatever you want inside and have your own little um, birthday party. If it's your birthday, you can have a birthday and happy birthday if it's your birthday. All if right. Putting snacks in, make sure they're wrapped. Yes, do not put in popcorn like we were just talking about. All right, and what you have to do is you have to close it up. Okay, so what you have to do is when you're ready to close it up, you're going to take your paper mache again that you had, okay, with the whole mixture with the flour and the water. You're going to dip the paper in again. Yeah, I'm not going to. Right? And you're just going to cover up the hole. Okay? And then you're going to let it all dry before you paint. Okay? So once everything's dry and everything like that, then you paint. So first, you blow up your balloon. You make your mixture of the flour and the water. You cover it up. You let that part dry right here, okay? And then once it's dry, <coughs> you are going to paint it okay and then paint whatever you want don't forget to tag us to it show us on our Facebook page so we can see what it looks like okay once you do that you're gonna fill it up with candy okay so once it's at this point you're gonna fill it up with candy you're gonna take a little bit more paper mache you're gonna dip it in your mixture okay so remember it's not painted yet okay when you filled it up with candy and you're just gonna let that dry Put the candy in, a little bit more paper mache, put it on top. If mom and dad don't want you to use paper mache, that's fine. Ask them if you could use masking tape. That could work too. Okay, anything that works that covers the hole, okay? You could use paper mache or you could use masking tape. And you just put it on top, okay? Then you paint it all and you have fun, okay? I hope everybody enjoyed making our piñatas. One side is a flower scene. Okay, for the spring. And the other side, we have our Hawaiian luau girl with her grass skirt. Okay, you could put anything you want on it. You could paint it, you could put stuff on it, anything. Okay, you want to put real flowers, you can put real flowers. Just use your imagination. Use your imagination and send us pictures. All right, guys? Have fun. Thanks again. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.